Welcome to the new CCTV student portal. My name is Brandon and in this video I will demonstrate the features, functionalities and information available to you on the student portal. Let's begin. When you first log in to the student portal, you will be directed to the dashboard page. Please note if there are any missing documents that you'll need to provide, a missing documents pop-up message will show with the specific documents that have been requested. To upload the missing documents, you may simply navigate to the documents section and just below the important details, you'll find the file attach sections for each missing document. Once the document has been uploaded, the status will update to pending approval and you'll have the option to download the document. Returning to the dashboard page. Under the dashboard page, you'll also have access to your issued letters. You may view your issued letters by simply downloading the document. Additionally, you may view your issued letters under the documents section. Returning to the dashboard page, on the left hand side you'll have the option to navigate between the dashboard, academic, documents and resource center sections. On the right hand side you'll have access to additional features and functionalities. For example, you have the option to upload a profile picture. You'll use the My Profile feature to update your personal information home address, mailing address, and emergency contact details. You may use the contact CCTV feature to leave a message or to contact the student services, academics, and career services departments. Additionally, on the right hand side, there will be a panel that will confirm the program you're taking, the start and end date of the program, including the enrollment status. Just below the panel, you'll be able to view your notifications. Additionally, by selecting View All, that will take you to the Notifications page where you'll view all notifications. Returning to the dashboard, you're also able to navigate to the Notifications page by simply clicking on the bell icon located on the top right-hand corner. Now, moving on to the academic section. The academic section will confirm the program that you're taking, your enrollment status, and the start and end date of the program. You'll also be able to view the specific modules that you'll be taking for your program. Please note, students are able to submit the withdrawal, deferral, and refund requests directly from the academic section. To submit a request, you'll simply select the specific request. That will direct you to the request page where there are important details to note on the top section. The form itself is auto-filled by the system. However, you will be required to confirm additional details at the bottom, as well as accepting terms and conditions before submitting the request. Once the request has been submitted, you may confirm and check the status of the request under the Documents section. In this example, the deferral request has been submitted and currently the request is pending approval. You'll be also able to download any of the request forms submitted directly from the Documents section. Now, proceeding to the Documents section, on the top, you'll have important details that you'll need to note regarding your documentation. And just below, you'll find each file attached section for the missing documents. Once again, when a document is uploaded, the status will update depending approval and you'll have the option to download the document as well. You're also once again able to view the status of any requests that have been submitted from the student portal. This will be in regard to your deferral, withdrawal, and refund requests. 
Finally, under the document section, you'll have the option to view all issued letters. Finally, on the resource center, students will have access to additional links and resources to support you during your studies. By simply clicking on any of the icons, that will direct you to the main website where you can view each of the specific details. Please note if you are experiencing any issues with uploading missing documents or with accessing or logging in to your student portal, please send an email to studentservices at canadianctb.ca and we'll get back to you as soon as possible. Thank you and once again, welcome to the new CCTB Student